بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا When I was seven years old, my parents had one rule and one rule only. No sleepovers. No sleepovers ever. And so what that meant was that I was never invited to anything. Like that one time when my friend Ibrahim had a sleepover and the next day his dad took them all to Valley Fair where they got to ride on roller coasters and go on to the Ferris wheel? Nope. I wasn't able to go. Or that time Wasif, when his dad took everyone to Wisconsin Dells and they were able to go down water slides, even the kind that go upside down? Nope, I wasn't able to go to that one either. But the worst, oh, 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 oh the worst. I don't even want to talk about it. I, I will talk about it just briefly. It was Ahmed's house, Ahmed's house. His mom invited everyone over for a sleepover and at that sleepover they had, and mm, I can't even say it. An endless supply of lasagna. Lasagna, an endless supply, and I couldn't go. It was the worst. But today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I don't have that feeling because I have been invited. I have been invited today to one of the best, one of the most exciting, one of the most amazing events in the world. And it's not just me who was invited. You've been invited too. In fact, the whole world has been invited. Do you know what I'm talking about? We'll talk about it in just a minute. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and I even see a couple of are there some dogs and some cats here are there a, no no dogs and cats all right welcome 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 to today's uh ramadan digital camp for kids you guys there are over 1,000 people watching on zoom right now and so if you go to the right there's like an endless supply of beautiful boys and girls from around the world and even a couple of dogs and cats no i'm kidding no dogs and cats um for those that do not know me allow me to just briefly introduce myself my name is brother amin and i am the author of noor kids noor kids what is noor kids you ask well i'm glad you asked noor kids is an akhlaq building program every month families receive a new book delivered directly in their mail um, and you're able to attend our weekly classes just like this um, and you can learn more at noorkids.com now back to that banquet when i was a kid I sort of always felt like I was missing out in one way or another. I wasn't able to go to Valley Fair. I wasn't able to go to Wisconsin Dells and I wasn't able to go to Ahmed's endless lasagna party. But today, each of us have been invited. Each of us have been invited to a very special event. And no, I'm not talking about the Noor Kids Ramadan camp. No, I'm not talking about that. 
I'm talking about the month of Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the holy month of Ramadan has arrived. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, he describes this month as the banquet of Allah. This is the banquet of Allah. Now, when we say banquet, what do we mean? We mean that this month is filled with blessings. Now, I don't know about you, but when I go to a banquet, I want to try to get as much as I can possibly get. Right? Like, for example, when I told you about Ahmed's endless lasagna party, like if I was actually at his party, hold on, let me just grab my bag real quick. Once, oh, here, there's a bag right here. Okay. I would grab my bag. And then if I saw the lasagna, I'd try to get as much as I possibly could get because I would want to eat all that lasagna when I'd go home. Because why not? Now, this is not the banquet of Valley Fair. No, this is not the banquet of Wisconsin Dells or anything like that. This is the banquet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so over the next 30 days, we are going to work together to try to get the absolute most out of this month. That means that we are going to have some fun. We are going to giggle. We are going to play. We're going to meet other people. But most importantly, we're going to get closer to our creator and it's going to be amazing. Now, today we've got a very special guest who's going to be joining us and I am so thrilled to bring him on. But before I do, I want to just spend a moment to get you grounded in this Ramadan camp for kids. Like what is actually going on? How do we use the website and what to expect? All right. So I am going to briefly just log on to the website for a moment. Um, and then um, I'm going to walk through it just so that way everyone is on the same page uh, and I'm able to just kind of share with you exactly how it works. All right. Now, just give me a moment here. There it is. All right. All right. Let me share my screen real quick sharing of the screen has occurred. All right, so you guys, this is the academy.norkids.com website. We are gonna be using this website all month long, and this is gonna be the place where all of like the kind of fun stuff is happening, all right? So the website is academy.norkids.com, and if you registered, you know, one of your parents or your grandma or your grandpa, whoever registered should have gotten a registration link. Now there's some people, okay? There's like maybe like two or 3,000 people who have not gotten their login details yet. They had a limit. They're like, no more, too many. All right. So if you haven't gotten your login details yet, you'll get it soon. I promise, inshallah, by tomorrow. All right. So over here is a little video. Watch this video. It's going to explain everything in the camp. Over here is a calendar, okay? This calendar is super duper important, all right? Um, the reason why it's important is because if you download it and you print it off and you put it next to your bed and you like sleep next to it. No, I'm kidding. You don't need to sleep next to it, right? But this calendar is gonna tell you exactly what we're doing every day. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, we're actually gonna be having a lesson. These lessons are gonna be filled with stories and activities and silly dad jokes, but they're gonna help us get closer to Allah. On Mondays, we're gonna have movie night where we're gonna eat popcorn. Actually, no, we're not gonna eat popcorn because it's Ramadan, right? But we're gonna be watching some of the submissions that people from around the world have made. On Thursdays, we're gonna have a talk show where we're gonna meet special guests like Nasheed artists, like activists, like scholars and things like that. And on Saturdays, every Saturday, we're having a game show where we're gonna be giving away $1 million. No, I'm kidding, not a million dollars, it's too much. If, if I had a million dollars to give you guys, I mean, okay, let's not even think about it, right? But if I did have a million dollars, I'd probably buy like a million lasagnas and then like eat them. Okay, okay, anyways. But uh, the game show nights are going to be a lot of fun. Um, now, if you're not able to attend live, do not worry. You'll be able to watch them um, uh, on the Academy website. Um, so that way, um, uh, if you're not able to watch live, do not worry. That is okay. You can watch a recording of it, all right? Now, let me just show you a couple of the other things that are on here. Over here, you can watch this to like meet me, learn a little bit more about me, Mr. Amin. This, these are all of the events for this week. So for example, today is the 13th. We are meeting Sadi Nader Khan, all right? 
Tomorrow we're going to be learning about how big is Allah. The next day we're going to have a talk show with Aisha Abdul Basit. And then if you want to learn a little bit about her, you can learn a little bit about her here. Now, again, there's a link to join the Zoom. If the Zoom reaches capacity like it did today, then you'll have to watch on YouTube, okay? Because there's only a thousand people who can watch on YouTube, on Zoom. There's not much we can do about it. We've got a series that's called Who is Allah? These videos are incredible. If you haven't watched them, do watch. There's 13 parts every week. We'll be re releasing three of them. There's DIY activities like the origami star, watercolor, so on and so forth. Um, there is directions on how to use it. And then once you finish, you're able to submit it here. And we'll be sharing this, uh, the videos below. And you can comment as well. Like, look. Okay. Um, and then there are what are called challenges, all right? Family challenges. So this week we have three challenges, spot the moon, Ramadan home decorations, and build your home masjid. Um, so with every one of these, uh, there's a little video you're able to see. You're able to participate. And once you show your photo, you can see what other kids from all around the world have done. Um, and, um, you know, because many of the masjids are closed, why not create our own masjid at home? Every week, there's going to be new content on here. So it's going to keep us really excited and engaged. By the way, if your parents want to make a contribution towards Nora Kids or join Nora Kids, they'll be able to do it there. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and even some dogs and some... No, I'm kidding. No dogs and cats. Um, that is the uh, portal, inshallah. And we're going to be using that throughout the entire month of Ramadan uh, to make this, inshallah, the best Ramadan ever. Now, my video is playing some games with me. Let me start it again. There we go. Um, so, I mentioned to you that we have a special guest that's joining us, and not just the month of Ramadan as a guest. Yes, I know the month of Ramadan is here, but we have a talented Nasheed artist. His name is Saidi Nader Khan. He's from Canada. Now, I have had the chance to meet Nader Khan on maybe four or five different occasions. And the one thing I've noticed about Sayyidi Nader Khan is that the only thing that is more beautiful than his face or his hat, he's normally always wearing a hat, is his beautiful smile. Now, if you have not listened to some of his work on YouTube before, it is the most beautiful, soothing, loving voice that I have ever heard. And I'll tell you another thing. You know, for me, I grew up speaking English my entire life. Now, don't get me wrong. I love listening to things in Urdu, which is the language my mom and dad speak. Or I love listening to things in Arabic, which is the language of the Quran. Or I love listening to things in Turkish or Indonesian or, or Nigerian or different, different languages, because why not? But when I hear things in English, ooh, it makes me super happy. And Brother Nader, Sayyidi Nader, has taken the beauty of some of these other languages and brought it into English. And so with that, I am going to introduce him um, and bring him, inshallah, to the group. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing? Man, alhamdulillah, I was doing okay, but now I'm doing so much better now that you are here. <laughs> it's, it's very good to connect with you. Just so you know, uh, I'm out in the studio and my kids are logged in over here as well and they're listening in. Your kids are listening in? What are your kids' names? Fatima and Zahra and Noor al-Batul. Allahu Akbar. Fatima, Zahra and Noor al-Batul. Allah. Now... Sayyidi Nader, what is this background of yours? Oh, oh, the background that you see behind me. Yeah. Uh, this is this is my band, the Blacksmiths. So uh, I can't see myself right now, but I'm I'm in there somewhere. I think. I, I think uh, you are right. You are right, like right yeah, in front so, of yourself. So this guy up here, he is our uh, uh, Doctor Faisal. Uh, he's our tabla player, and. I think I'm either here or here. I can't see myself properly right now, but I'm I here think, somewhere. Yeah, you're here. So there's one really good looking guy in the middle. And so I'm just imagining that's probably you. Okay, so now, 
so 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 Sayyidi Nader, how are you? How are it's, you doing? It, I'm alhamdulillah, I'm doing very well. Uh every uh every month uh our kids look forward to the Noor uh you know Noor Kids publication that comes in. And uh, we sort of put them through a little thing to to get access to them. Go clean your room first. Go do this first. Go do that first. But um, the fact that they do all of those things with the willingness tells me that they're really looking forward to, you know, getting getting you know, Man, sinking I, their teeth into the book. Dude, I really appreciate that. Now, look, I want I want all the viewers to know that I did not tell. Say the nother to say that that was no, a didn't. genuine plug. I That's appreciate That's absolutely, it. absolutely genuine plug and absolute genuine appreciation for everything you are and everything you do. Okay, so now say the nother. I want you to know yep. that um I really appreciate you a lot um because I follow you on social media and things like that. And so Barakallah I'm curious. Fikri. Today is the first day of Ramadan. Yes. How are you feeling? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, different people are, you know, Allah has made different people in different ways. Allah has given many different people many different strengths. For some people, the strength that Allah has given them in their worship is Allah has made it easy for them to recite the Quran. For some people, Allah has made it e easy for them to pray. For some people, Allah had made it, it has made it easy for them to do hajj after hajj, or umrah after umrah. For some people, fasting is easy. I... I'm grateful that fasting comes easier to me. Uh, but it's really, you know, for me, it's just a bit of a lazy thing, right? I'm just going to sit down. I'm not going to get up. If I get up, I'm going to eat. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> not going to get up. I'm just going to sit here and not do things. Because every in everything else, you're actually doing things. In fasting, you're not doing it. I am not going to eat. So I'm just going to sit here and chill. <laughs> so, so I'm, I, usually, generally in, in fasting, it really doesn't bother me that much unless if I miss uh, Suhoor. Um, uh, I mean, in Suhoor, if I, you know, I usually just have a tub of yogurt and maybe so a couple of eggs. Let me ask you a question. Um, what are you hoping to get out of this special month? Uh, I'm hoping to. One of my teachers told me something really, really useful a few years ago that I tried to remember every Ramzan. He said, try to find one thing that you want to get out of your life, that you want to change about yourself. One thing that you think, you know what? I don't like getting up this late every morning. You know what? I don't like uh, praying this late. You know what? I don't like getting angry at my sister. You know what? I don't like getting irritated at my baby brother. Now find one thing and ask Allah to help you get rid of it in this month mm. and work at it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, that's so, for me, for each one of us personally, you know, I ask all of you to just, you know, think about, think about yourself. Think about what is it about me that I want to change? Don't think about anybody else. You know, I want her to do this and I him, want him to do that. Don't worry about anybody else. What is it about me that I want to change? And then pick one thing, just one thing. And say, you know what? By the end of this month, I would like this fixed. Ya Allah, please help me change it. That's it. I, I really love that. So um, for the people who have watched me before, um, you know that I love Batman. I love Batman and I like Batman more than Spider-Man. I just do. All right. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people like Spider-Man. Why? Spider-Man is a superhero. He goes tss, 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 and like he sprays out like this webs, right? Spider-Man turned into Spider-Man because he got bitten by a radioactive bug. Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive bug and then he turned into Spider-Man. So I just think like, look, if I got bit by a radioactive bug or if you got bit by a radioactive bug, then you would be just like Spider-Man too. But Batman, very different entirely. Why? Batman didn't get bitten by a radioactive bug. There was no hocus pocus. No, he just worked. He went up into the mountains. He struggled day in, day out. He worked out. He ran. He did all of these things. And because he did that, he ended up becoming so strong. Now, I think about that with, the res with respect to the month of Ramadan as well. Why? Because this is a month when we can figure out how we can get better, inshallah, with one thing. Maybe it is because we eat too many donuts. Right, that's me. Or maybe it is 
that sometimes I am lazy with my prayer. Or maybe sometimes I get angry at my brother and my sister. Or sometimes maybe I lie. I don't know. Each one of us has different things. And during this month, that's something that we can totally do. So Sadie and other man, that was an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. Now, I'm, I'm curious, um, like now you have a um, career wherein, mashallah, you have a, not just a singer, but a songwriter and an art educator. Tell me a little bit about um, how you started and um, why do you sing? Allah. Uh, okay. There's many different kind of trajectories I can take that answer on. Let's keep it more um, uh, digestible by our younger viewers. Um, uh, I, I, so I've been singing all my life. I started, yeah, I think I started off trying to impress my mother and my older brother who are naturally, you know, they're naturally very good at, at singing. And then, you know, I, it just sort of clicked one day. Uh, one day, I, I still remember the song that I sang and where I sang it and how I sang it. And it made my mother turn her head and look at me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm getting there. And uh, so, I mean, I, I think the first time I was on stage was grade one. And I just, you know, it's just something I've, uh, I just ended up happening over and over every year in my life that I just somehow ended up on stage. And I think I was uh, in two, I, 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 I was about around 20 when we started doing gatherings of dhikr. I, before that, I would, you know, do all of these performances, you know, with like keyboards and stuff like that. And then something happened and things started to change a little bit. And I didn't want to do those kind of songs anymore. I didn't want to do those kind of performances anymore. And, and I thought, well, you know, this is something that's inside me. What do I do with it? And at that time, I think it was 1995 or 1994, Yusuf Islam's album came out, you know, uh, The Praise of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Badru Alayna. And that really struck me because I was like, yeah, I could, that's some, this is something that, you know, I could, I could do. This is something I, you know, I would love to do. And then uh, my dear, dear friend uh, and, and brother, Dawood Warnsby, he put out his first album right at that time, Whisper of Peace. I still remember in a, you know, sat in a grocery store parking lot, just put that in back then we didn't have CDs. We had audio tapes, Allahu Akbar. that audio tape in the car. And I'm, and I'm bawling my eyes out and I'm hearing him sing. Right, about no, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sayyidi Nader, you, you may not know this. Um, mm. Well, you, you definitely don't know this because um, before COVID, I used to travel a lot. Mm. I used to travel like two weekends a month. And so mm. I'd spend a lot of time on uh, flights. And now, the thing is, when you're on flights, because there's so much like background noise, like mm. I got these noise canceling headphones. Mm. And so I would listen to your songs, <laughs> Echoes. Uh, you know, you have a rendition of Tala Al Badru Alayna, and I would cry. And it would be funny because I would just be in it and I'd be like, as a blinding light, <laughs> he came to us. And I would just be like in it. But then like the person next to me would be like, <laughs> what is he doing? What is going on with this guy? And so I, uh, but, but I really appreciate it. Now, um, I want to ask you more questions, but I would love for some of our viewers to hear your beautiful voice. I'm curious, do you have a song that you would be interested in sharing with us? Uh, I do. Uh, can you give me a second? I can give you I, five seconds. Ah, uh, five seconds is good. I just need to rewire a couple of things in my studio, but until then we can have a conversation. Okay, so now I'm curious. Um, you have children now. Yes. Um, what is your favorite Ramadan uh, memory as a kid? Oh man, uh, this is this takes me right back to my childhood. I, when I grew, I was born and raised in India, in Hyderabad, and um, Ramzan over there, uh, Ramzan Ramadan uh, was different. We would, you know, uh, because the you whole guys got vibe to eat, was different. You, you guys got to eat biryani every night. Well, I can get that here. Uh, the, but that, it, the biryani, is not, it, it, the <laughs> vibe was different. The whole vibe was completely different. It was like, it was like the entire 
city is breathing Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. Right? So it just even in our home, just like, you know, it, it wasn't, it came, not, it, it, it was something that flowed naturally around me. It wasn't, you know, like over here, uh, it's good that people are actively doing things and they're actively engaging in Ramadan. Over there, it was just natural that happened. You know, just the atmosphere, it's, it's like somebody flicked on the switch. Mm, and, that, so uh, you know, the Ramadan though, feeling like, goes on. So did did you like? Do you have like one like man? So I'll tell you. I'll tell you mine. All right, and you can think about yours. Okay. So uh-huh. there's, I think that there's two things with respect to Ramadan that I really remember from when I was a kid. The first thing is all right when I tried fasting for the first time, or like mm. the first couple of times. I remember like okay. So what would happen is, I I was sleeping. And then I was like, what is, what is that smell? And I woke up and I was like, is there a, is there a party going on downstairs? And it was like three o'clock in the morning. So I remember like coming down the the stairs of my house Hmm. and I looked and I saw like my older brother, my older sister and my mom and dad, and they were all eating. And I was like, what are you guys doing? It's three o'clock in the morning. And how come nobody invited me? And they're like, you know, we're doing Sahur, you know? And I was like, oh, I'm going to fast too. And my older brother was like, no, you can't fast. You're too young. And I was like, no, 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 no I'm going to do it. And so I remember doing Sahur uh, or Sehri. And the next morning I woke up. And I like ran downstairs and I went to the fridge and I like opened up the fridge and I grabbed the milk and I grabbed the cereal and I poured it and I put the spoon in and I was right about it to eat it. And my brother came out from the distance. He was like, no, don't do that. It sounded like slow motion. It wasn't slow motion, but um but but I remember like when I was fasting, like the first couple of times, oh man, I would make mistakes all the time. <laughs> and then the other thing I remember was like um, at my masjid, one of the reasons why I thought this year, yeah, we're going to do classes. Like, you know, tomorrow we're going to be learning Allah is al-Akbar, the greatest. Hmm. But um, I want us to have some fun too, right? Like I want us to like, like, fall in love with Allah and Islam this month. And so at my masjid, we would do some fun stuff, right? Like we would do like a quiz night sometimes. We would do a game night and eat nachos at night. And like that stuff all made me just so happy. And so inshallah, we're trying to do some of that in the Ramadan camp this year. You're muted. Oh, he's muted. Allahu Akbar. Let me unmute him. Otherwise, I would have had to try to sing for him. Wait a minute. <laughs> can, can, you, can you hear me okay? Blinding light, you came to us. Okay, it's not very good. It's better when you do it. Uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of, of, of these songs is that everybody does it. And uh, my, you know, and I would love to, you know, if I have nothing else, I'd love, you know, I'd love to stand in front of Allah with the songs of you know, these songs on the lips of other people. So if you're singing them, um, alhamdulillah, I have some hope. <laughs> well, so here's, here's what I'll tell you. Um, I, uh, I, I was telling my wife, I was like, you know, Sunny, um, my wife's name is Sunny. I call her Sunny. I was like, Sunny, Sayyidi Nader's coming. And I was like, do you think I should sing with him? And she's like, which song are you going to sing? I was like, I don't know. And then I sang it. And then she's like, nope, nope. I really don't think you should sing it. You should let him sing it. But... Um, I think uh, the benefit, though, is um, I'll be singing it in my heart, inshallah. Um, okay. So do you want me to sing that specific song? Or is there something else you have in mind? So there's two songs that I really love. One song is your rendition of Tala al-Badr Elena, which is like, oh, my gosh, the hottest commodity, because you have to know exactly where to search on the Internet to hear it. <laughs> And I know where it is, and I will tell people where to find it. Um, but number two is um, Echoes, perhaps, unless there's another song that you really love. There is one that came out last year. Okay. And there's one that's coming out tonight. Bismillah, man. Whatever one you want to do, let's do it. Okay, so let's do whichever one you want. Okay. And then if we can also do the Tala al <laughs> Uh Can we? Can I share a screen? Yeah, you can share your screen. Okay, hold uh, on. Because that, that means I can actually play the video for the song as well. All right, so hold on. Um, 
you can you request to share your screen? Uh, sure. Give me one second. All right. And let's just make sure that that actually works. Do oh, this? okay. People said it was hard to hear me. I think it should be better now. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Sorry. All right. Press the share screen button. See if it works. Okay. Hold on. Host has disabled participant screen sharing. All right. I'm going to try to enable it. Now, here's the thing, all right? Here's, here's, here's. Okay, send me the link. Yeah, yeah, send me the link. The link right now. Okay. Uh, play the video. And okay. You need to sing them. Okay, sounds good. All right, so um, send it to me in the chat box. Uh, I can't do the chat box, so I'm going to send it to you on WhatsApp. Okay, send it to me on WhatsApp. Bismillah. All righty. Look at that <sighs> technology. Technology. Okay, but you you also have a rendition of like um, the ABCs as well that I've heard you do before. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that today. <laughs> not doing that one today. All right, not doing that one today. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so give me a minute while I pull this up. Um, while I'm pulling it up, I'm curious, do you have, uh, can you think of a, um, actually, I was going to play a game. I forgot. Um, uh, I was going to play a game. Do you happen to have a pencil or a paper in front of you? Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I want you to think of a uh, letter. Okay. All right. What letter? J. J. All right. And um, I am going to say food. Okay. So what that means is this. Um, I'm going to put 30 minute, 30 seconds on the clock. All right. And the goal is to see who can come up with the most types of food with the letter J. All right. And by the way, if you guys want to help me out, you can put it in the chat box and then I can get some little hints. No, I'm kidding. I don't want any hints. All right. 30 seconds starting right now. Starting with J. J. And it already started. Come on. You only have like 20 seconds left. Okay. J. Um... Mm. Mm. I'm doing so good. Okay, uh, three seconds left. All right, how many did you get? Time's I, up. I got four. You got four? Okay, so I got I got one, two, three, four, five, six, but I don't know if all of mine are going to count. All right, so why don't you go first? What four did you get? Jalebi. Jalebi. Allahu Akbar. That's a really good one. Okay. What else did you get? Jalfrezi. Jalfrezi like chicken jalfrezi. Oh my goodness. All right. What else did you get? Jamun. I don't know what that is. That's not real. You made that one up. <laughs> you made that up. That's not a real thing. Jamun is a fruit. It, uh, it's uh, kind of like a grape, but not exactly. So here's the thing. I feel like you can just make things up like and Which the baba. baba. Oh, you don't know what Jababa is? <laughs> oh, definitely no Jababa. It's like it's like a type of a bread. Don't you know that? No, I'm kidding. Jababa is not real. Okay, what else? Because gulab jamun looks like a jamun. Ooh, gulab jamun. All right, very good. The color jamuni color is actually is maroon. So okay. that I mean that comes back to what jamun actually is. Anyway, and then I got juice. Juice. Okay, very good. All right, so now here's what I got. So you got four. All right, now let, let, let me. I got jelly. All right. I got jam. Okay. Okay. I got Jolly Rancher. Okay. I got Jelly Bean. Just go easy on the sugar, man. I know, but like, you know, we're all fasting. So, you know, just like, okay. And then I got Jaguar, which I don't think people normally eat. All right. But you could, right? So it kind of is like a food. <laughs> right <laughs> a jaguar i mean i don't know i mean it's it's you know you could eat it someone could all right all right very good so, so having said that let us watch this is the official it's called love always works by nadir khan the official music video all right 
and I have never watched this before. This is from this is brand new. This is this is dropping tonight. Uh, no, no, no. This one came out uh, last year, uh, and the video for it came out in February this year. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bismillah. Let's let's listen to it. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Are you sharing the screen? I'm sharing my screen right now, and I'm sharing my audio. All right. Bismillah. Let's go. you captured me you stole my heart oh your gentle words your smiling your smiling arm oh we came to dream To do the love always works. 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 Don't you see that he wanted this? To do the he made it be. Yeah, 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 yeah. He opened hearts to finally, finally see. stop i gotta start it again this video thing i gotta get figured out otherwise it's gonna become a problem um all right so say the nother now this song you wrote it too right uh no a friend of mine wrote it uh, a friend of mine wrote the song uh almost like nine years ago to ten years ago so but you um, do write songs though right i do i do and where uh, do you get the ideas like how do you go about writing songs if i could figure that out i'd be able to write a lot more of them <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I mean, these are things that come to you, and uh, you know, if you are, if uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't, they don't. It's not okay. Here, the sound of tears, which is a song that you've heard. Mm -hmm. uh, it took me five, six years to write that song. Allahu Akbar. There are some songs that I'm still writing after twenty years because I'm not satisfied with, what, with what, what's coming out in those songs. There are some songs that which came in a flash. Uh, Moonrise, which is the one you like. Did it um, echoes? Um, did it come like as a blinding light? <laughs> is that how it came? Um, presence <laughs> that, that I, when I wrote presence, uh, which was uh, in, you know the uh, a, a rewrite of Hallelujah. When I wrote that, I, I remember writing it in a in a dark, rainy night, and it just came in a flash, and I wrote it, and I'm weeping as I'm finishing it off. I don't so, even know where these ideas are coming from. I was on a plane once. I was writing a song. I was sat beside my wife. 
and these words came. It was a very short song, but I'm finishing it off, and I'm, I can't help but cry when I'm finishing these songs because I don't even know where the stuff is coming from. Mm. So um, let me let me ask you a question. Um, if if someone was listening and they they wanted to, for example, start writing or they wanted to start, for example, singing, um, what what advice would you give them? Learn. I would I would ask them to read. I would ask them to, because ultimately, okay, songs that you're conveying, right? Um, any art, any song that you're conveying, there's an emotion in here that you're trying to get out. You're trying to share an emotion. You're trying to share a meaning. So when we speak with each other, I'm speaking with you, you're speaking with me, you're talking about a blue something hanging over somewhere. And I don't know what you mean by you when you say blue, hmm. right? But you're conveying a meaning that I understand. So we are, we are sharing meanings here. The thing with songs is that uh, you find a lot of people today in like mainstream music are able to say things, but they don't have anything to say, but that doesn't stop them from saying it. <laughs> so they just talk about bakwas. Bakwas basically, meaning basically. like just they talk about stuff that doesn't matter. And basically, one, of, right? one of the things I've always really loved about your work is that I feel like it, um, uh, most of it, uh, actually everything that I've ever heard you do has actually helped me get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, or, or our holy prophet, peace and blessings beyond him. Very kind of you, very kind of you. I, and, think, yeah. I think for me, uh, uh, you know, growing up, you know, sitting in these, you know, uh, uh, sitting and listening to my father, you know, see videos of, you know, Urdu poetry recitals hmm. or um, listening to, you know, classical Urdu poetry about, you know, uh, about the Prophet Sallallahu about Allah um, in, you know, sung in Qawalis or sung in, you know, shared in knots and stuff like that. Um, and reading people like Mulan Jalaluddin Rumi and translations of his poetry into English. Um, and, you know, the, and then, of course, you know, the book par excellence, the Quran. So I'm not saying, you know, the Quran is your songbook. Astaghfirullah But these are meanings that you take in. So, um, I mean, I've heard some of the, uh, the you know, these young and uh, uh, up and coming artists who are trying to, you know, do a good job. And I watch their performance and I tell them, you know, they ask me for advice and I tell them, well, what are you reading these days? Uh, and they say, well, I don't read anything. This is all original. There's nothing, you know, that's not art. Mm. Because It's interesting. Allahu Akbar, yeah. Sayyidina Adar, I need to share, right? So it's interesting, right? We talk about this a lot. Mm. Our brain is like a sponge. Mm. Sponge meaning what? Whatever goes in has the opportunity to come out. If you put orange juice into a sponge and you squeeze it, then orange juice can come out. If you put milk into a sponge and if you squeeze it, then milk can come out. If you never put in orange juice, if you never put in milk, well, then guess what? It can't come out. So similarly, our body, right? We have senses, our eyes, our ears, our nose, our mouth, our hands. If we see good things, mm. if we hear good things, if we read good things, if we mm. say good things, all of these things go into the sponge. Mm. But alternatively, if we see inappropriate things, if we listen to inappropriate things, if we say inappropriate things, that also goes into our sponge. 100 percent and so sadie nader what i'm hearing you say is look if you want to write read and read the best of things study the best of things such yeah. that the best of things can go into your sponge and then when you squeeze it it comes out like orange juice and then you I, I, it i'm up. saying i'm after, saying more after, than read after the sun goes down then you can grab it and then you just drink it it's like gobble gobble <laughs> and then you hear your throat's all nice <laughs> I'm I'm saying more than just read. I'm saying become the companion of this of, of these people. Have good companionship, whether it is the books that you read, or the poetry that you listen to, or the people you hang out with. Because often, and Malana Jalaluddin Rumi tells us, right? If you if you're sitting with people and you have all of these amazing ideas that are coming into you, and you're like, oh wow, mashallah, I'm such a fantastic human being. It's not you. It's the baraka of the good people that you're sitting with that Allah is giving you a share of these meanings. Allahu Akbar, mashallah. Now speaking of this, okay, I want to share uh, that we are in uh, great baraka of the folks that are here with us and also with you. Hmm. However, in looking at the time on the East Coast. It is almost time for suhoor. It may, or sorry, iftar, and it may actually already be time. 
And also for us in Minnesota, I got to be heading home because it's time to eat some biryani. No, I'm kidding. But Sana, if you're watching, it doesn't matter if you made biryani at all. I love you either way. You know, don't worry. But if it was biryani, yeah, you know, yeah, okay, no, yeah. I'm kidding. All right. So anyways, having said that, um, uh, I want to tell our listeners two things uh, before we, inshallah, uh, get close towards concluding. Tomorrow, uh, just in terms of calendar, we are going to be learning Allah al-Akbar. We're going to ask the question, how big is Allah? Um, it's an amazing lesson, so you don't want to miss it. The day after that, we're going to be meeting uh, a talented young uh, lady. Her name is Aisha Abdul Basit. If you ever grew up with the Qari Abdul Basit, um, this is actually her, his daughter. Uh, on uh, And then on Friday, we're going to be asking, how smart is Allah? How wise is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So that's what we've got in store. Now, as we say that, Sayyidina Abe, I have to ask, can you give us a little sampling, just a little inkling of the Tala al-Badr al <laughs> All righty. On the day when they shone a bright full moon On a desert city in the early afternoon Habib Allah, beloved of God The reason that a calf embraced the noon All the troubles that I had gone away Now the blessings that have come here to stay now So praise the Lord and beat the drums Sing talal Badru alayna talal Badru alayna Min thaniyatil wada Hoko wajaba Shukru alayna Mada alillahi da one more, one more line. Come on, one more stanza, please, please don't stop. Please, one more, one more. On the mm, when the sun's been gone for far too long and the night starts closing in. Allah and Allah. you don't know why you can't see the moon and the chills are settling in. And a darkness stirring in your heart Robs you of your peace Don't you fear a thing, my friend The beloved is within Oh, plant the blessed sapling of his love Deep within your soul Bid farewell to your ego And to what it asks of you Let your heart then grow in nobleness as it welcomes him like a thrip change to taiba not too long ago oh on the day when they shone a bright full moon on a desert city in the early afternoon habib allah beloved of god the reason that a calf embraced a noon all the troubles that i had gone away now the blessings that have come here to stay now so praise the lord and beat the drums Sing Talal Badru Alayna. Allahu Akbar, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his blessings upon our Prophet, Allah the Allah family Allah. of the Prophet, and the companions of our Holy Prophet. And I think with that, it's a great time to um, say, bid farewell for today. And inshaAllah, we will see you again here tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to be asking, How big is Allah? I want you all to join me in thanking Sayyidi Nader Khan for spending time with us this evening. We had the opportunity to, alhamdulillah, meet his beautiful spirit and also hear his beautiful voice. And inshallah, we will all be looking on YouTube for uh, this new um, um, uh, release that inshallah you are making. And uh, we really do appreciate you for uh, joining us, Sayyidi Nader. Barakallah fikum. Barakallah fikum. Inshallah, we'll see everyone else uh, tomorrow at the same time, at the same place, uh, as we ask the question, how big is Allah? With that, I will